गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू पैसा बोलता है पैसा बोलता है मैं फिर से स्वागत है आपका टुडे आई वॉन्ट टू डू डीप डाइव इन पेटीएम एंड हाउ अ बिजनेस इन्वॉल्व एंड हाउ एन एक्ट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट और एक्ट ऑफ द सेंट्रल बैंकर हैज चेंज द फॉर्चून ऑफ द कंपनी एंड हाउ इट कैन गेट लॉस्ट विजय शेखर शर्मा इज द फाउंडर ऑफ पेटीएम एंड स्टार्टेड इट विद जस्ट टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज लेटर इट बिकेम वन ऑफ इंडिया लार्जेस्ट यूनिकॉन्स एंड ही हिमसेल्फ वॉज वर्थ मोर देन बिलियन डॉलर ही वॉज बॉर्न ऑन दिफ्टींथ ऑफ जुलाई नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एट इन अलीगढ़ उत्तर प्रदेश ही स्टडीड इन दिल्ली टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी एंड अर्न अ बैचलर्स डिग्री इन टू थाउजेंड ही स्टार्टेड अ कंपनी कॉल्ड वन नाइनटी सेवन कम्युनिकेशन द पेरेंट कंपनी ऑफ पेटीएम विच बेसिकली वॉन्टेड टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कंटेंट थ्रू टेलीकॉम ऑपरेटर्स इट डिड नॉट डू much at that point of time vijay's friend bought 40% of 197 for 8 lakhs in 2004 and the company's revenue surged to cross crores by 2008 in 2010 paytm an acronym an acronym for pay through mobile was launched as a mobile wallet and that is when paytm really became paytm or 197 became big it was basically designed to simplify lives by reducing reliance on plastic cards basically you had it was acting as a digital wallet you had to pay money into you had to pay money into the wallet and the wallet and you could use the wallet anywhere paytm diversified into content advertising commerce and accumulated 2 billion dollars in funding during the 2016 demonetization paytm's digital transaction became very crucial for indians and it formed partnerships with major players especially uber initially the company offered mobile payment services to consumer and payment solutions for merchants including qr code point of sale and online pay to get options but actually what happened is around that time upi was announced and upi became free and people like phone pay and google pay built applications on top of upi and therefore paytm lost its relevance because you had to park your money in the digital wallet whereas in the case of upa you could just transfer from one bank account to another i don't leave any money with google whereas i have to leave money with with paytm so as google pay started to gain traction paytm lost its relevance by then paytm had raised money from people all over the world most famously being alibaba and and financial and through that even warren buffett had invested in it indirectly but the company continued to expand into e-commerce deals bus ticketing and bill payments including fees metro anything you could pay any payment through paytm but the problem was you could make all these payments through gpay also or you could use phone pay so by then most of the investors had done with investing even ratan tata had invested in 2015 and then what happened is paytm had to find a way to profitability so they started launching paytm gold they launched a paytm bank they did uh, and now they have paytm money which they want to distribute financial services and today their major business is basically sourcing loans because a lot of merchants small merchants use the paytm gateway to collect the money which is their first mover advantage and using the track record of these people they are able to source loans so they take money from non banking finance companies and turn in turn invest it in and give it to the small players paytm does not have its own capital and therefore is not functioning as an nbfc what paytm is doing is basically taking money from so as acting as a sourcing agent for nbfcs at the end of the day what to have what it is is it is a direct sales agent for nbfcs maybe they are picking a higher level of commission and they are selling personal loans high speed loans which they charge higher interest rates but at the end of the day you will have to take money from a non banking finance company if instead of buying paytm you might as well go by the non banking finance company if you are a distributor so as of today the revenue mix is payment and financial services represent 78% cloud and commerce services give 22% so the payment services is basically giving instruments like wallet paytm postpaid and qr code to customers to merchant it offers other products like point of sale material and also paytm sound box in the upi overall transactions paytm has just has 13% of market share so basically the revenue model is it takes a payment processing fee rental for devices deployed with merchants and a convenience fee with customers but that has been a failure because more if you charge a convenience fee the customer will 
disappear. In commercial and cloud services, they are doing travel entertainment, ticketing, mini app and etc. But for all this, there is severe competition. Book my ticket, make my show. All these companies compete with book my show or whatever is the name. I got the name wrong. But all these companies are really competition. Even in this, the company charges a convenience fee. But if I want to buy a PVR movie ticket, I can go to the PVR site and make a GPA and buy it. There is nothing unique about Paytm solutions. And there is they are only a loan sourcing app. What put Paytm in serious trouble is the fact that the UPI came in and killed its market share. There is absolutely no relevance for a digital wallet today, except that you have the, had the first mover advantage. At the end of the day, you have to have a strong business sense and unique selling proposition if you want to be a tech company. The company went public a couple of years back or 18 months back and the price was 2150 rupees or 2100 rupees. It listed at 2150 rupees, listed 1955. It went to a low of 438 and now is at 889. It is because one of the promoters and financial services uh, sold to a company controlled by Vijay Shekhar Sharma and he has not been able to make a payment for it. He has already what he has done is he has given a convertible note that is basically has borrowed money on interest from and financial and and financial has taken that money for stock basically he has become a debtor so basically what it is is because the ant was a chinese company and was a major shareholder rbi was withholding permissions for certain provisions to work around it the paytm has done this but at the end of the day fia is won 72 percent they will try to get out of it dias in mutual funds have been very smart they own only 3.5 Public is owning 24.43. So basically what it is, is this company has no stock, no value. It has nothing. And I don't know how you calculate a book value for a company which has been perpetually losing money. And any profit that the company makes is contrived and uh, is not a market leader in any of the services it provides. And it's not its own. It is not a finance company. So how Paytm is going to reinvent itself will decide the future of this company. This is best avoided because when the wind goes out of the overheated market now there will be a big correction so please avoid considering paytm aapne is podcast mein upasthit hue is podcast ko suna iske liye main aapka aabhari hu aap mera channel ko subscribe kijiye bell notification dabaye aur agar aapne sab kuch karwa diya to aap ab is video ko apne dost aur rishtedar ke paas bheje aur unko dekhne ke liye aagrah kare namaskar dhanyawad jai hind i told you that i will be in riyadh on the 22nd of September. The event place was not fixed. We have The team has now decided the event. It's in the holiday in Riyadh. Those who are in and around Riyadh and desirous of meeting me may contact the WhatsApp address below or the email. My team would get in touch with you.